Guys, congratulations to you all, Andreas. It's been so close so many times, but finally you have achieved victory in the IRC and you become the youngest ever winner of an IRC event. How are you feeling? Wow, yeah, what am I feeling? It's, um, it's, been, a, it's been a year with a lot of up and downs. I mean, starting in Monte Carlo, <laughs> not, the, not the perfect start and, um, and uh, having some good results lately, being very, very close to, to winning some rallies and um, to get my first win uh, here in Scotland. Um, it's it's the home of Scotty UK. Um, so to deliver such a result um, after such a year, it's um, it's just an indescribable feeling. Now you took the lead yesterday morning, and it seemed very comfortable for you out there. But there was a little bit of a drama today, wasn't there? Tell us about it. <laughs> there has been a lot of drama all weekend, I think. <laughs> but uh, yes, today was was very difficult. Um, I mean, especially the long stage and. Uh, I thought actually yesterday it was easier to predict the week and stuff like this. Andreas, just hold the bottom of that microphone cable. Sorry, Thank you. can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah perfectly. Okay. Uh, yes, so uh, so the long stage, uh, we, we had a puncture both times through. Um, okay, first time through, it, it was on the rear, so we could still drive and manage with it. But um, on, the, on, the la on the last time through it, we, we got it on the front right, and the car was really, really hard to drive after that. But um, we were lucky. It was only two kilometers to the end, so... So we could just uh, go slow and uh, not lose too much time. So describe to me the feeling when you cross the flying finish of the final stage and know that you've finally done it. You've got that win on the board and an important win as well. It, you know, it's starting the two last stages, I mean, we have been sliding sideways in 160 kilometers per hour all weekend. And the two last stages when I was sliding a little bit on first gear, it was like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> you know, it was really really a bad feeling so uh, so yeah i'm very happy we got safely through them and uh, to cross that finish line uh, was the best feeling i had in a rally car so far now it looks set to be a, a really thrilling finish to the season when the championship heads to cyprus six possible winners of the title in the irc and you're one of them you will be heading to cyprus yes yes we will for sure be in cyprus um okay the Okay, we can take the title, but the chances are very, very small. Um, but uh, our aim there is, uh, for sure, try to go out there and and try to be be among the best. So, uh, and uh, okay, if uh, as I said, the, the chances are so small that <laughs> all the guys need to go off the road almost. But uh, okay, we will try. Now we spoke before the event. Crispy duck tonight. Then it's a Chinese when you get a victory, and, and this is a big victory. Yes, I think uh, they will be out for crispy duck by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Andreas, thank you. Let's turn to Ole now. Talk to me about the atmosphere inside the car this weekend because you both have been desperate to get a win under your belts and it has been very close in the past few events. Was there a lot of tension inside the car? No, we had a, a very good rally in Italy last week and uh, that's given us a very, very good feeling to go back on, like, come back on gravel. And uh, we, the first day, like uh, yesterday, we did what we are used to. And surprising, a little bit surprising, we was uh, had was able to get that gap we had. But today, it was a difficult day. We um, started and uh, <laughs> we tried to be clever, but it's not easy to do the first vic victory like we did today. Is um, yeah, I'm very happy we we managed to do it because. Uh, from the last service and out was not was not funny. I was calculating the time card 300 times and I was so scared to do any mistake and these things. So, so I'm happy to be here now. <laughs> Ola, thank you very much. Let's hear from uh, Mr. Hannanen now. Now, we've seen you on pace on gravel events in the past, but yesterday, especially yesterday morning, you didn't seem to be quite on form. You come through today, you've taken second in the event. What was wrong yesterday morning? Oh, basically everything, uh, mainly myself, and uh, I was quite lost we on this mud and uh, with the car. With the setup and all those together, I, I, it was more than difficult. I need to fight in every corner. And, uh, but on the day service, I changed quite much the car and then it felt much, much better. And after that, it has been... After that, I was able to, let's say, enjoy the stages, and, uh, but unrest was so far away on that point already.
In terms of getting points on the board, it was important for you to get as many points here as possible. How much were you risking out there today? How much were you pushing to try and get that position? Oh, okay. It was one second this morning behind uh, Brian when we started, so it was only main target to follow his time and on the first one we took him five or something like that so it it seemed uh, quite okay after that and uh, then just basically driving through and we'll try to avoid the mistakes. In terms of the event itself here in Scotland, how do you think it's rated this year? I uh, Still, even it was totally different rally than last year with these muddy conditions but still this is one of my favourite. I really like these stages and uh, and fast, uh, fluent over the crest and uh, these things, it's uh, on the gravel, basically, let's say like this. So it's still, even on this condition, this weather, it's, it's one of my favourites. And you, heard what about Cyprus? Because you're one of the contenders, one of the strong contenders for the championship. Will we see you compete in Cyprus at the final round? Long pause. No, it is working. Come on, Mr. Hannanen. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, we, we will see. It's long, long time still to Cyprus. And uh, okay, the points we have quite a good situation. But uh, now we secured this manufactured title, and it was the main goal. So it's still open. Are we going over there or not? Okay, we will leave you be on that one, Miko. Let's turn to you now. With the problems of yesterday morning, as you was describing, nothing seemed to be going right. Did you believe you guys would ever make it to the podium? Yeah, we knew what was wrong. So. Of course we believed because those those we were able to fix so it was okay after that. Now you uh, host being very very reluctant to talk to me about Cyprus but as a team and as a partnership surely you guys want to go there and and try and win the championship title. Oh of course we want to win the title because that's why we are here. But it's it's not really up to us and and we will see what happens. As an event here in Scotland what have you thought of it this weekend? Yeah, like Juho said, I have to say the same, that it's, it's one of my favourites also. And, but now this year it was totally different than last year. And, and these muddy conditions for anybody, those are so tricky and anything can happen as we saw. And, but we are here after all the moments what we had and all together. <laughs> OK, Mika, thank you very much. Let's uh, turn to uh, Brian Bouffier now in third position. Talk to me about your weekend then. The guys have talked about their moments out there. What's it been like for you? Uh, you know, first of all, I'm really happy to be here because it has been decided uh, very late. And I'm sure that few people uh, in, this, uh, in this room uh, knows about this subject, how difficult it was. So um, nice to start here and the finish on the podium is, uh, uh, I can't tell more than my expectation, but uh, if you had a look on the entry list and so many uh, gravel specialists, uh, it's uh, for sure a good, great result. And uh, yesterday evening, it was uh, not so easy for for me uh, to uh, how to say when I saw the classification, I was in front of you on gravel, so I was quite happy. Okay, it was not, but uh, <laughs> and uh, this morning for I tried to to push, but it was uh, not uh, not enough. But anyway, perfect result. Talk to me about your problems today, though, because you've had some brake issues, is that right? Yes, on the uh, end of uh, the shorter stage, uh, we, l we lost completely the, the brakes. Uh, so we were, we were lucky not to, not to crash because it was on uh, quite slow uh, sections. And then we could uh, find a, a solution to, to start on the long stage. We just were braking on three wheels, but it was working, working well, so we did a good uh, mechanic operation. And what about you for the final round, Mr. Ruffier? Will we see you in Cyprus? Uh, I, I can let you know that I'm available, so if there is a car <laughs> available, it's possible. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. Xavier, let's turn to you now. Were you very concerned when you did have brake issues today that they would be more of a problem than they were? Uh, sorry, can you, can you repeat? When you had some issues today with your brakes, did you think they would be more of a, or more of a problem than they were? Did you think you might lose position? Oh, for sure, uh, we think uh, about a lot of things in the same time. It's quite, uh, uh, I will not tell mess, but we, we try to manage it and we try to, to, to find solution for that. Uh, and we, we try to the end, you know, and uh, uh, fortunately, quickly we found the solution. Uh, I mean the problem and the, and the solution. And like Brian said, we, we've done the last stage on uh, three breaks and it was... Not so easy for him, I think, but uh, <laughs> but uh, he managed it uh, really good. 
Okay, Zabi, thank you very much. Let's pass back now, just finally, to both to Ola and to Andreas. Just both of your opinions on the rally here in Scotland. What you think of it as an event and how much of a challenge it's been for you guys this weekend? Well, uh, you know, coming back this year, uh, I had so many good memories from last year. Uh, the stages are so incredible, nice, so fast, so flowing. Um, and such good grip it was last year. And uh, this year, it's still fast and flowing, but no grip. <laughs> so, uh, so in one way, it's very different. Uh, this year, it was uh, much more, more, more difficult. Uh, but one, I, I enjoyed it just as much. You know, I really had a uh, good fun in, in the mud and sliding around and playing with the car. So, so yes, really, really enjoyable. Okay, Ola, and for you, your opinions on the event. No, it's the same like Andreas. Uh, sliding, I'm not having any steering wheel. I had the pace knots. <laughs> so, um, yesterday was easy, uh, sorry to say it, but uh, today was not easy. Uh, I felt it in the car. Uh, okay, he was sliding and I was reading the pace knots, but I was repeating the pace knots more than usual. And um, no, I had a great moment, and especially the martial art is very, very helpful and educated. So, uh, and everything is running very, very good and no problem at all. So if I need to ask any question for with the marshal, they have always a question, and that is not always you see at rally. So this was very good. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Are there any questions for our drivers or co-drivers? No? Congratulations, gentlemen. We hope to see you all in Cyprus. <laughs>